We head to Kittatinny High School for this field hockey clash, and Lenovee Valley's putting the pressure on, but Kittatinny goalie Carly Palmer makes a couple of nice stops to keep this game scoreless. Now it's Kittatinny's chance to score off the corner penalty. Watch Lenovee Valley goalie Kaylee Genolucci clear the circle for the patch, and we have no score. All right, Lenovee Valley gets another corner, and again it's Kittatinny keeper Carly Palmer standing tall in the cage as she makes not one, not two, but three saves in this wild flurry. Wow. Time is running out here in the first half, just about a minute left. Lenovee Valley's on a corner. Now watch freshman Lauren Cooper flick it into the cage, and Lenovee Valley has a 1-0 lead at the half. Second half we go, Kittatinny's on a corner, but Kaylee Genolucci once again makes another big save as Lenovee Valley clears the circle. So close right there. But Kittatinny's pressure finally pays off here. Watch the ball bounce around the circle before Ashley Brown knocks it home on the far post, and we are tied at one with 19 minutes to go here in regulation. Okay, huge play right here. Kittatinny's awarded a penalty stroke. And it's Kaylee Gentilucci of Lenovee Valley with a terrific stick save to bat it away. And we remain tied at one as we go to overtime. Oh, boy. We go to overtime tied at one. And it's Kaylee Gentilucci of Lenovee Valley again with two sparkling saves as overtime continues. And this game would end in a 1-1 draw thanks to this terrific save here by Kittatinny goalie Carly Palmer as she stops Lindsay Beecher of Lenape one-on-one with the kick save before heading back to the goal mouth and laying out and keeping the Cougars out of the cage. Great job by both keepers in this one. It was a big game for us. We all played our hearts out. Each team played very well. It was looking good for us, and then we let it go up. I let it go up, but we fought back, and it ended up being tied. We went to overtime but we all played our hearts out, ended up being even score, but I think we all evenly played great. We played with so much aggression and intensity today. It was, it was excellent. They really fought um, against a, a local you know, rival, and um, I was really proud of how they played today. Kelly Genolucci was amazing in the second half for Lenby Valley. Kittatinny put the pressure on. They couldn't solve her. Kaylee really kept us in the game today. She had the big save on the stroke. Um, she she played extremely well. Um, the defense as a unit, you know, they've really come together as seriously as, as this season has progressed. So it's been excellent. Biggest save of the game for Jenna Lucci. She stops the penalty stroke in the second half to keep it tied at one. Every time the call, uh, strike, stroke gets called, it's very nerve-wracking for me. I My legs start shaking, and it's just I start sweating. It's not the thing you want to hear as a goalie, but you just have to mentally prepare yourself, and you just have to pick a side. It's a goat, and you have to hope that it's the right side. And today, and, yet, and the other day, I was lucky that I <laughs> picked the right side. Kittini goalie Carly Palmer was no slouch herself. She was tremendous. Late in regulation, she stopped a one-on-one -on -one breakaway by Lenovee Valley. You kind of just have to be aggressive and run up to it and hope that they're going to take it off the wrong angle and really just go to it and hope that it goes out. Then in overtime, Lenby Valley was knocking on the door. She was prone on the goal line. She didn't get called for a stroke. She did a great job to keep this a tie game. You pretty much just lay there and hope that, you know, they whack it at you, but you don't move and hope that it doesn't go in under you and try not to cover it to get a stroke. So This is a battle of two teams that won divisions last year. Lenby Valley won the Freedom. Kittatinny won the Colonial. They're both young and rebuilding, and they're hoping to finish the second half of the season strong. We're just going to have to keep playing like we do and play as a team and work hard, and we should get the win. I hope to push more offensive the second rounds as we play the teams again because we could do better, and we were a little shaky in the beginning. But now that we all have definite positions and we know how to play them better, that we can push harder.